My name is Dr. David Purse, and I'm the Public Health Authority for the City of Houston. Human papillomavirus, also known as HPV, is a very common infection amongst men and women. HPV is so common that nearly all men and women will get at least one form of the virus at some point in their lives. So HPV, or human papillomavirus, is really a group of about 150 different types of, of uh, subtypes of that virus. And they're all over the world. They're all over our skin, and some cause problems and some don't. HPV is really uh, almost part of being human to get exposed to it. Uh, virtually all of us uh, are exposed at some point. It's estimated that about 80% of people have been exposed to HPV. So really, in, in one's lifetime, it's almost inevitable that you'll be exposed to the HPV virus. In many instances, the body will naturally clear the infection. But in some cases, the infection can persist and cause cancer. HPV can cause cancers of the genitalia and also of the head and neck. In women, we most often think of cervical cancer, but it can actually cause cancers of the vulva, vagina. And in both men and women, it can cause the head and neck cancers in the oropharynx, which is the back of your nose and throat and includes the base of the tongue. The good news is we have a safe and effective vaccine that can prevent nine of the most common types of HPV. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend that children receive the vaccine between ages 11 and 12 before they can be exposed to HPV. Depending on your child's age, they will need either two or three doses of the vaccine. The CDC recommends that children complete the vaccine series by age 13. It's a very safe vaccine. It's been around over 10 years, which is longer than the iPhone. So when people think it's new, it's really not new at all about 100 million doses of the HPV vaccine have been given. So the risks are just really minimal and the benefits are huge for receiving this cancer preventing vaccine. It's such an incredible opportunity to give my kids an opportunity not to develop these cancers. If you saw the suffering people undergo when they get treated for tonsil cancer, the six weeks of radiation, the lifelong effects of radiation and chemotherapy and, and surgery as well, um, you would want to do what you could to, to prevent your child from, from developing such a uh, horrible disease later in life. I have three children, um, ages 22, 18, and 12, boys and girls, and I vaccinated all three of them against the HPV virus. As a mother, I feel that it's my responsibility to my children as a pediatrician, a responsibility to all my patients to make sure that they will never get this form of cancer. There is nothing more tragic than diagnosing somebody with a cancer that could have been prevented. And there's probably nothing more tragic than being a parent, seeing your child's life change from a cancer diagnosis that you could have prevented by working with your clinician. Um, don't miss that opportunity. There's no reason to miss the opportunity. It's a safe vaccine. It can prevent your child from getting cancer. HPV vaccination rates remain low when compared to other vaccinations offered to children of the same age. These vaccines include meningococcal, HPV, Tdap, which stands for tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, and of course the annual flu vaccine. You can help protect your child from these vaccine-preventable illnesses by getting them vaccinated. You can also protect your child from HPV-caused cancers by having a conversation with your doctor about HPV. Do it today.